Hi, I'm Dr. Richard Markell, here today with Dr. Philippe Benoit. We're going to be doing some ultrasound guided injections, uh, some that may be new to you and some that you may have seen before, but we have some unique perspectives on how to make this easier and more useful for you in practice. So I am going to show you some injections of the neck and the back today with Dr. Markell. This is a probe which has been completely sterilized because these probes are sealed. We are going to use a convex probe which is a 3 to 8 megahertz. So we're going to have a pretty nice view of the superficial structure, but also try to follow the needle as deep as possible where we are pulling to inject either a joint or a ligament. So we are going to show you the injection of the joint C1, C2, ultrasound guided. The landmark is to put your hand behind the ear and approximately five to six centimeters away from the midline, your probe will give you an idea where the joint should be. So here on the screen of the ultrasound machine, you will see that we are just facing the caudal aspect of C1 and the cranial aspect of C2. The edge of the needle should eat the cranial aspect of C2. So Richard Marquez is going to inject this horse exactly in this axis and bring the tip of the needle on the edge of C1 and C2 with a bit more uh, depth. Okay, perfect. A little bit deeper and we are just going to catch that. Okay, and push. Perfect. So this is the injection of C1, C2. Now we are showing the injection of the pole. The pole can be injected in various situations where you may have some insertion disease of the semispinalis or the nuchal ligament. Therefore, the access will be very similar. On this horse, we put a sterile close on the altar. You want to push your probe as close as possible to the occipital crest. The image on the screen will show you either the nuchal ligament or semispinalis muscle that you want to inject. Then you will orientate your needle in the axis of the probe with maybe a 45 degree angle, depending on the depth you want to go next to the pole. Once you pass the skin, you want to orientate your needle either on the tip of the pole or closer to the nuchal ligament. It's only a question of orientation. You can be very shallow as well to go a bit more close to the skin, depending on the structure you want to inject. These are antithopathy, so they are disease of the insertion of the muscle or the ligament. So ideally, you may inject some steroids or some regenerative products, such as PRP, to avoid more local inflammation and pain. So now we are going to show you injection of the facet joints. From C3 down to C7, T1, the technique is to put your probe perpendicular to the main axis of the vertebrae. You choose the vertebrae you need to inject. And if you get to the point where you see a nice round shape of the facet joint, this is where you want to stand. Keep this in the middle of the screen and put your needle on the top of the probe with approximately 45 degree angulation and then push your needle in order to get exactly at the edge of the facet joint. So the needle can be orientated a little bit more steep depending on the probe you use. This probe is very narrow, so I can be very close to the edge of the probe and inject here, as you see, just under the capsule of the joint. When you will push the liquid of your injection, you might see the capsule showing a light elevation. For this particular injection, it's going to be a little bit different. You want to see with the same axis the probe within the facet, let's say C6, C7 or C5, C6 here. And we are going to orientate the probe a bit more caudally and oblique to see the very deep structure, which is the nerve emerging from the facet joint and the foramen. So as you know, this will be a bit more caudal to the facet in the axis of the vertebral body. The idea is to put the needle then, once you see the nerve, sliding below and behind the facet joint. So the needle will be aiming caudally 
to the facet joint and aim directly on the nerve root here. Thank you for watching. For more information and videos, please visit sonosite.com backslash vidhead.